What's going on? I know you're here to win it, but this match makes you four-timers an All-American, right? I mean, something new for Rutgers, but also a great achievement. Think about that when you were going out there that, hey, you know, this match moves me where I, I, I'm in a new territory a little bit. Definitely. I mean, we're all human. We all, like, we all crave, like, a uh, little bit of glory, a little bit of money kind of fame you know so uh that was something in the back of my mind i tried not to think too hard about it because my goal is to be a national champ but i'm super grateful to be that to accomplish um all four years being an all-american that's something you had to take some time off you know come back to the sport after a time away how did that time help you uh, even get better just help me mature i feel like i went from from a kid to becoming a man and uh, i just had time to get a lot of perspective um the most important part of that journey for me was uh, learning about myself. I mean, you think you got yourself figured out, and then uh, it's like when you get a time alone, it's just, it's like that's when you really uh, have time away from the sport for me, away from school. Just I had time to really think about what I wanted in life and how I was going to get there, and some of the people maybe that were in my life that I had to be removed, or some people that had to be added, you know. It was, it was a really good thing for me. Rematch tonight with Matthew. You know, battle of you know, two schools in Jersey, right? Yeah. The dual meet went your way big time, right? You yeah. rolled on it. What's What do you got to do to get a similar result tonight? I got to take it up on a whole nother level. I mean, I'm sure that's in the back of his mind. So he wants, he probably wants this one, and he's probably had this circled on, uh, circled on like his little template sheet, whatever he does for himself. I'm sure he remembers the match at the rack, and uh, we had a lot of battles over both of our careers, and I'm, I'm looking forward to getting his best effort and his best and I'm going to bring something better than I've had all year. And the effort's just going to keep getting better and better, and my performance is just going to keep getting better and better. And a, lot, mentioned- a lot of excitement around Rutgers wrestling. When you came in, did you realize that you were going to be, you know, go down as the best Rutgers wrestler well, on your way out? I don't know if that's the case right now. I mean, <laughs> we got me, you got Soriano. We're both killing it right now. So uh, for me, the goal was to make Rutgers that kind of place, and I feel like I've <coughs> accomplished at least in the right direction. We're getting there. We're on the... We're on the board in the top 10 uh, for most of the tournament this year so far and last year the same way, even though we finished right outside. But that's something that, that was definitely one of my main goals coming to Rutgers, and I feel like I accomplished part of that. So next steps to get a Rutgers uh, national champ. And did you always kind of figure that you probably have to face Klotz one more time to get through this thing? Uh, I don't know. I mean, in the back of my mind, I, I thought so, but then he started having little hiccups here and there, so I didn't know where he would be on the bracket. But uh, it's something I gear for going into the season every year if he's in my weight class. He's a tough competitor, and I, we both come from uh, programs within New Jersey, so uh, their coaching staff's great. Our coaching staff's great. We kind of work together with the regional training center. He's going to be prepared, man, and I'm, I'm expecting that. So uh, I kind of feel like when I wrestle the best guys, though, my best performance comes out, and that's shown this year throughout all my toughest matches. I feel like I've surprised some people with the scores, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing that one more time this today and one more time tomorrow so the racks a pretty you know great place to wrestle i'm told and then the wrestling community is going to come out there for final acts so what will they learn about jersey wrestling and the fans there when when we bring the olympic caliber guys to your town i think they're going to learn how good i am when i make it and i uh okay re- represent <laughs> that spot <laughs> they're definitely okay. gonna i mean i think most people in the united states think new jersey has great wrestling pennsylvania has great wrestling and we have great fan bases i mean we're not even one of the top, like, we're, we're getting there, top program, but you hear the RU Chan after Nick Soriano gets the fall, and uh, that's, something, that's something that's cool to me. I mean, I remember coming and hearing the Minnesota chants when they used to be national champs, and uh, those are the things that stuck with me as a kid, and I know little kids seeing that kind of thing and hearing that kind of chant, and then they go back home to New Jersey, and we got to go run their practice once in a while or something like that. It's, that's how you keep getting uh, better and better recruits, and that's how you build, build a culture, build a tradition. You guys have some real crap.